hello friends welcome back to my channel and thank you for stopping by i made another vintage heart shaped cake this time in black and white so now i'm just filling the cake with some buttercream american buttercream so i just bake the cakes in uh, heart shaped pans you could bake them in round pans and then cut them to get the heart shape but since i have the heart shaped pans i decided to just do it this way it's less work that way and then the crumb coats and after that i'm going to put it in the fridge to chill if i do the final coating of icing okay it's out of the fridge and i'm making a line where i'm going to put the two colors i'm doing black and white so it's a birthday cake the person is turning 30 so the black side will be saying goodbye to the 20s and the white side will be saying hello 30s so i use my icing bag to apply the icing on the white the side that is supposed to be white and i'll just smooth out that side put it in the fridge to chill before i put the black buttercream filling in the spaces and scraping again to get it smooth you have to scrape several times until you have a nice smooth buttercream the heart shape is a little more challenging to eyes than the round shape For the round one you just go around with your scraper but this one you have to go and stop at one point and go the opposite direction to get that uh, sharp edge on the of the heart shape so you do it almost like a square cake because they have kind of this the corners this has, yeah, this has a corner almost like a square shape so we keep scraping and when the sides are smooth we scrape the top to give you a sharp edge you just pull the icing towards yourself and I'm going to put it in the fridge for the white icing to firm up if I put the black one I'm just going to repeat the same process with the black buttercream. So I'm using a piping bag because it's just easier to do the to separate the two colors. And here as you can see my black icing was not enough. So I'm just trying to make it spread. But I'll end up making another batch. I actually ended up making uh, chocolate ganache and coloring it black. I've, I found out that it's easier to color brown or dark chocolate ganache to black than white buttercream. So that's what I did here for a fast uh, to achieve a fast ganache, a fast black color. I'm going to make it and I add it to this. So here the ganache is, you can see it's still a little bit runny because I made it and just used it almost right away. After I cooled down, I just used it. So it's a little bit runny. But that also helps me cover the cake more easily. There's one part there that keeps trying to scrape off the icing and, still, and showing the white other cream, the white crumb coat. But I managed to get the black ganache to stay. Keep scraping until it's smooth. Trying my best to make the to make a line or like to differentiate between the two colors, make a straight line there. 
it's not as easy but yeah it worked it's later that i thought oh i should have put a parchment paper on that white side to kind of make the line more smooth more straight so next time i'm going to do that when i'm working with two different colors i'll put a parchment paper between the colors to make the line more straight so i'm done icing it and i'm just cleaning the board and then i'll start piping the borders the black buttercream and white buttercream the black one is actually ganache it's chocolate ganache that i colored black so i'm piping with that and then i'll use the white american buttercream to pipe on the white side vintage style I can't wait to make one that is just one color. Everything the same color. I admire those ones better. But you have to give the client what they want. In this case, they wanted black and white. The black is for the age that is past. And the white is for the new age. The new decade in their life. And after piping the borders... I'm going to write goodbye 20s and hello 30s. I mistakenly wrote uh, welcome 30s instead of hello 30s. And when I went back to read the message she sent, I saw that it was hello 30s. So I kind of I scripted it off and wrote it again. Oh, I'm just spraying some edible glitter, silver glitter to make the black buttercream shine more or the black ganache to have a sparkling effect it's all edible and some edible sprinkles too just decorating the cake now then after that i'm going to write i'm not the best at writing but i managed so here i was writing welcome 30s but then when I read the message, I saw that it's supposed to be hello 30s. So I scraped that off and I wrote it again. I'm actually writing with um, candy melts. I melted white candy melts, thinned them out and wrote with them. And I'm adding some buttercream flowers that I made. I'm just spraying some more to make it shine more sparkly. And that's it for the black and white heart-shaped vintage kick please give it a thumbs up share subscribe if you haven't please leave a comment i'd like to read from you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye for now